Hey everyone, I'm Domingo Gomez and if you own an iPhone and a PC with Windows, I'm gonna show you three ways that you can transfer your photos and videos completely free. The first method is with a USB cable. I know, it's quite basic, but it's important. Connect your iPhone to the PC via USB and authorize the connection. Now you will see this window and inside a few folders, but if you sort them by date or modification, you will see your latest photos or videos inside that folder. This is useful if you want to move the latest videos you just recorded or the latest photos, but if you want to see everything slightly, you know, a little bit more organized, then you should open the Windows Photos app and in import, you can choose the iPhone. It will take a few minutes to load, but it will look much more organized and from here, you can even import the ones you want. Now, where is the problem with this method? It's slow and fails many times, especially when you're moving a lot of files or just even heavy videos. Look, I'm pretty sure Apple does this on purpose in order for us to start using macOS or even paying for iCloud because if you have some photos on this service, you can install the same app on Windows and authorize the photos to sync. And when you go to Windows Photos app, you will see this tab that will show you all the ones you have in iCloud. And from here, you can select the ones you want and download them to a folder on your PC. But what if you don't have a USB cable or paying for iCloud, but you still need to transfer your photos or videos? In that case, go to the App Store and search for AirDisk and install this free app. Once inside, select all the files you want to transfer and then come here and choose this option which will give you a specific URL. Now on your PC, type that same URL into a browser. You will see all the photos and videos you uploaded to AirDisk and from here you can download them directly from your phone. This method is my favorite because it's the most effective for heavy files but if you know any other that should have been in this tutorial, let me know in the comments. i see you in the next one. Ciao ciao!